Hi everyone, it's Colleen, your adult services librarian here at the Shelby County Public Library. And for today's book talk, we're going to be talking about quick reads, books that are under 250 pages. So it is a little over midway in our summer reading program, and if you are still wanting to catch up, try and read a couple of these books, so that way you can get to those some books you need to get your free book and entry into our giveaway. I also always enjoy a quick read just to kind of jog my reading life instead of getting mired up in books that are 400, 500 pages. Sometimes that's a joy, sometimes it can feel like a slog. So a quick read always feels a little more energetic and like a little boost. The first book I'm going to talk about is under 200 pages. Nice. And it is The Girl Who Reads on the Metro by Christine Ferre Fleuret. This is actually a work in translation. The author is French. And this follows Juliette, who is a young working girl who goes into work on the metro and reads on the train constantly, finds some solace in her routine, but kind of wants something different in her life. One day she walks by this gate that is propped open by a book, walks inside, and finds a man and his daughter working at a bookshop. She ends up getting employed by that bookshop and finds a new purpose in her life. This is a sweet, lighthearted read that will definitely, definitely be a fun, quick read for you. The next book I want to recommend is just a little over 200 pages, and it is Ella Minope by Mark Dunn. Yes, said that right. Um, this is a fun little novel, kind of talking about the ways the alphabet and language is kind of used. This follows a group of people that are devotees to Nevin Nollop, the man who coined the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy brown dog, which uses all the letters of the alphabet. As such, they are very reverential to the alphabet and its useful ways, and when you start the book, it's very ornate in its prose and very wordy. It's written in a series of letters to characters, from the main character Ella to her cousin. The town of Nollop has this sentence emblazoned on a sign downtown, and one day one of the letters falls down from the sign, and the council of Nollop decides that this is a sign from Nollop himself, that they must eliminate that letter from their language. And so they start to use words without that letter in it. And it continues as more and more letters drop off this sign, and that reflects in Ella's letters to her cousin. They just get increasingly less wordy and more and more abstract. It's very interesting. It's a very fun exercise in language and word usage. So if you're kind of interested in that, I would recommend this. It's very whimsical and very interesting. And the last book I want to talk about, our longest one, clocking in at about 225 pages, is A Separation by Keiji Kitamura. This one is the most somber of our books. It, as you can tell by the title, is about a divorce. It follows the relationship between the unknown narrator and her husband Christopher as she thinks about currently how her divorce is happening and how their relationship started and how it came to be that way, as well as Christopher disappearing and where he's gone. It's very much a cerebral book, so it might be the slowest read of the three year, but it still is pretty short. This book is a lot more meditative than the other two, not as whimsical, so if you're looking for something to chew on a little bit instead of whimsy, I would recommend this one. That's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk, and I hope you find some quick reads for yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.